Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the new Marvel Legends Marvel Knights Punisher from the Netflix Daredevil show. Boy, does this figure look cool. Does have a few issues, though. The other ones are probably going to edge this guy out in just a little bit, but uh, it's a really solid figure. It does a lot of things really well, and so that's really nice. This whole wave of figures has been really good, but, you know, this one is probably the lesser of the batch. Uh, you know, there are just kind of a few problems in there, so we'll see. But does some things really nicely, so let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands at just about six and three quarter inches, which makes him just about 17 centimeters. So he's the tallest of the bunch for sure. Not sure if that's accurate or not. I don't really mind it. I think it looks okay. The paint job on this guy is okay. The Punisher logo on his chest, the skull, I don't remember it being so not there on the one side. Now here's the thing. All of the ones I've seen of this guy have that same problem. So... Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I can't remember, and I didn't go back to check, but because you barely even saw it. But uh, you know, is that is that how it's supposed to be? If it is, then that's fine. If it's not, then that's a definite no-no because it's half the skull, pretty much. So we'll see about that. They didn't paint any of the buckles on this guy at all, and I guess you could say it's, they're all supposed to be black. But I'm thinking there should be at least some paintwork on there, other than the pants are kind of brown and the belt is black, so that is painted. But no buckles or buttons or snaps or anything on this guy, boots or jacket or anything, so that's a bummer. As far as the face goes, they did a really good job in terms of quality paint. You can see he's got the nice 5 o'clock shadow thing going on and then the shaved head, that all looks really nice. That's all the dot matrix paint job. Same thing for the face, the eyes look really good, the scratches on the nose look really good. The likeness is pretty damn good also, so I like that. We do have a bit of an issue around the back of the head, you kind of see a gray stripe right where the hair meets the, the shave spot. So that's a little weird. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's, it's worth mentioning. So the paints are definitely not quite as good as the other figures. It's mostly just an all molded black and dark brown figure. So it's a bit of a bummer. He does come with two accessories. We have a silver pistol, which is molded nicely. Uh, you know, I can't say for sure if we've seen this exact mold before, but uh, it doesn't matter. It's a pistol and it looks fine. And then we have his rifle also. I think this might be the first time for this particular mold, even though we've seen this kind of rifle before, but maybe it's been out. doesn't really matter. Still a nicely done rifle. No paint on either of those, just molded plastic. And that's it. So minimal accessories and then minimal paint on this guy. Mostly, if not completely new mold. I think the hands may be reused, and I think that's it. I think he's pretty much all new. So let's go over the articulation. The head sits properly on the neck, so that's good. You'll notice the neck is probably a little bit too thick, especially in the back, but the head sits on it nicely, so that's good, and you still get really good range, so I am very pleased. You guys know I've been complaining about the heads not sitting properly, and now they do. You still get really good range. It does have that really lumpy neck, though. Full range, forward and back, full rotation, of course. Not too much side to side, just a tiny little bit. But I like it. I'd rather not have that unnatural side-to-side -side motion and have the head sit properly. So that's good. For the shoulders, it is just a standard ball hinge. A little bit better than horizontal, so I like that. That's really good. Full rotation, no problem. Bicep swivel works just fine. Single-jointed elbow on this guy. You do get better than 90 degrees, so that's a good thing. But it is, it is interesting that they went with a single-jointed elbow. And you can rotate it, so that'll help. But you don't get to rotate it all that much. You don't really need it, though, because you have the bicep swivel. So... I'm okay with it. I think it's uh, they, they made the right call in terms of giving him the proper articulation for the fairly baggy jacketed arms. I like that. For the wrist swivel, we just have a standard swivel with a standard hinge. And that's fine. My hinges are stuck on both of the wrists, but uh, hopefully yours won't be the case. Trigger fingers on both sides. The jacket's a very soft material, so it won't get in the way. And you can take it off if you want to, so we're going to go ahead and do that so that I can show you the torso articulation, if I can get it off. There we go. So the diaphragm joint works very nicely on this guy. It leans very far back, though it does have a bit of a gap in there. Very far forward and back. Side to side works very nicely. You get really incredible range. That's why there's a big gap in there. So, you know, if, if you like it, that's good. Just don't go quite all the way and you'll be just fine. So, very good. Then you also have a waist swivel, which is a weird combination. You don't really need both, but it does help in posing. So, that's really good. And it probably means we're going to see these legs again on another figure. So, that's okay by me. For the hips, they don't go that far forward, but definitely far enough. Definitely better than Daredevil. 
out to the side pretty far, surprisingly far. Didn't think they were going to make it, but they did, so that's good. Thigh swivel works just fine. Double jointed knee, let's find out. Really good range for the double jointed knee. Definitely very blocky from the front, but it has really good range, so that's nice. That's awesome. The boots are a separate molded piece. They're not connected to the leg permanently, but they are not made to swivel. So that's a bit of a bummer for those of you that like a shin swivel. The feet can go pretty far forward, not that far, but probably far enough. And then all the way back, and you get your standard ankle rocker. So yeah, this figure's not bad by any means, but it doesn't have the same level of paint as the other guys, and it's just, I don't know, maybe, yeah, it, it's still pretty good. Don't get me wrong, it's a solid figure, definitely a good iteration of this character. It just feels to me like it doesn't quite look as nice as the other ones when you put them all next to each other, and you'll see in the photos at the end what I'm talking about. So I do recommend it, it's definitely solid, just probably could be a little bit better in comparison to the other figures. So thanks for watching guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel, I have new videos up every single day, we talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff, so make sure you come back for that, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and in the meantime, keep collecting.